Good morning, chipmunks. I hope you are having a great day and that you ate a nice healthy breakfast and are ready to learn. Today we are starting with our first circle time video. And if you notice here, I have some things that look a little bit different than our board at school, but this is how we're going to be doing our learning at home. We're gonna still learn the same kinds of things that we learned at school. So how about we start right here? So can you tell me what color is this shape? Great, it's blue. Yes, this is blue. And do you know what shape that is? Have you seen that shape before? Yes, it's a diamond. Can you say diamond? Good, it's a blue diamond. Blue is our color of the month because we're in a new month. So we're learning about blue and we're learning about the shape of diamonds. So that's a fun one to draw. You can practice drawing that one at home in any color, it doesn't have to be blue, but practice drawing that at home. And my friends, how about this letter? We haven't talked about that one yet. This is Yancey Yak. And I don't have our cute picture of Yancey Yak, but hopefully we'll get that for you guys. But for now, you need to know her sound. And she does this. So do that with me like you're talking on a phone. Great. And now say y, y, y. Good. Y, y, y. Great. That is Yancey Yak's sound. Okay, now do it without me. Show me her, her motion. And give me her sound. Y, y. Yeah, terrific. Good job, chipmunks. Now this is another letter, and this letter, super fun to draw, I gotta say. It's one of my favorites to draw. That is Zeke the Zebra. And again, I don't have a zebra for you to look at, but his motion is this, like he's sleeping. And what sound do you make when you're sleeping? Zzz. Okay, do it with me. Put your hands up like a pillow and put your head down. And zzz, zzz, zzz. Good job, chipmunks. Great. So, Yancey Yak and Zeke the Zebra. Y and Z. These are the very last letters of the alphabet. Can you believe we've learned them all now? That's awesome. So now we have something else on our board. May or may not look familiar. We've talked about this number before. This number is the number eight. It's super fun. I like drawing my eights and you can practice drawing them at home. There's a lot of squiggles. You go around like an S, but keep on coming and squiggle all the way back to the top. That's how you make an eight. Let's count eight lines together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Wow, that is a lot of lines. This is such a big number. Number eight. Let's make an eight with your fingers now. Hold up all the fingers on one hand and three fingers on the other hand. It's okay if you have different fingers. You can have these three, these three like I did. You can try to do these three that's a little bit harder. But as long as you have five fingers on one hand and three fingers on the other, you have eight fingers. Good job, chipmunks. Show me your eight. Just like me. 
Good job. I'm so proud of you. Okay, chipmunks. So now we have a couple of things I'm going to show you that are on our lesson plan. Lesson plan just means that Miss Kirsten and Miss Kathleen have some ideas for you to do at home. I decided to make this craft look like an Easter egg because it's almost Easter. So that's what I did, but your mom or dad might just give you a piece of paper. So we have numbers here. Five, three, two, one, six, four. So if you notice, I have put the right number of stickers with the correct number. So let's look at three. Let's see how many stickers. One, two, three stickers. Okay, so if your mom or dad give you a piece of paper with some numbers, they can help you with the numbers you don't recognize, and then you can put your stickers on. Be sure to try to do it yourself. I know it can be hard, but it's so good for your finger muscles. Okay, that's one thing we have for you this week. And another, my daughter Sarah made this one, and it is something that you can finger paint and hidden underneath of the paint is some tape. Look at what you can do. So she finger painted the whole thing. Actually, she used a brush. She's a big kid. She didn't feel like getting messy and that's okay. You can do it how you want. But I put some tape on for her and then she painted it and it looks like this. Now parents, I suggest you let it dry a little bit and then what you're gonna do, um, painter's tape works the best. So when you take the paint off, I mean, excuse me, when you take the tape off, this is what you have. What is this shape, chipmunks? It does look like Timmy Tiger, I know. T -t looks like that, but it's a cross. And this cross helps us to remember Jesus and that he loved us so much that he died on the cross and rose again to save us. So that's a craft for you for this week that you can do. And chipmunks, make sure you keep the, the paint um, off of your table. Follow mom and dad's rules, okay? Because it's not like school. We don't have things that we can wash off the table. So make sure you follow their rules. And one more thing that I wanted to show you chipmunks is so much fun. And this is really for mom or dad. So you can go ahead and grab them and bring them back for this part. This doesn't look really interesting, does it? Nah, it just looks like a box, right? Well, what this can be for you is a sensory box. You know our sensory table? Well, that's locked up at school. Even I can't play with that right now. So what I've done is I've made an Easter box, okay? Your mom or dad can use a box like Amazon. Probably you're getting bigger boxes than usual. Go ahead and use those bigger boxes or a small box or even a pot from the kitchen, okay? And what I've put in this box are some Easter eggs and oops a sticker I think that sticker fell off of my craft from before um, I put some Easter grass oh my gosh so much fun right so much fun I have a little pail that says we all scream for ice cream super fun I have some beads and I was so lucky I found this cute little bunny and I thought he had to go in our box. So it, um, maybe your mom or dad can make you something like this that you can play with at home. Be sure to share with your sisters and brothers. And parents, I have some ideas here of things you may not have all the Easter stuff, but sensory items are so flexible. Um, paintbrushes, cups, 
bowls, corks. You may have a few wine corks laying around. If you do, they're great. How about the tabs from your bread, milk tops, jewelry boxes, buttons, jingle bells, craft sticks. <laughs> These are one of my favorites. These are from the inside of our dog's poop bags. So I figure they're clean. I can use them. Some cookie cutters. And even we have popsicle um, sticks. I guess you could say. So, have fun, take anything at all, and I've got a picture for you so um, that you can just have that handy reference and you don't have to watch the video. But that is it for today. I hope you had fun, and I look forward to seeing uh, your crafts. Don't forget to post them on Blooms. I wanna see what you guys have been doing and having fun with. Bye.